Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are going to be enjoying this one. This is going to be not a typical unboxing video, but it's going to have B-roll of an unboxing uh, segment and some B-roll of the Sony A6500. Uh, and today, let's jump in right now. Uh, the main reason I'm making this video is to tell you guys why I'm actually getting this camera and what I'm going to be doing with it. So the main reason I got this camera is because I really want to step up my game in photography and videography. So I already have a 4K camcorder and this uh, Sony A6500 is just going to be a second camera um, to, when I'm using my phone. Uh, if I'm not going to be using my iPhone as a camera, I'm going to be able to have this shooter over here as well. So I have three cameras now. Uh, and that's going to be for something I'm going to be really trying to get into this year in 2018. Uh, something new and something uh, different for me. Not new to the world, but new for me. And it's going to be some cool experiences that I'm going to be learning uh, how to do things. And this camera is just going to help me out with that uh, for the third angle and when I really need it. Also, I'm trying to get really into photography lately. So I'm going to be using this A6500 as a... Stepping stones to my, oh, it's actually my first, like personally mine camera, not borrowing it from a relative or a friend. Uh, this is going to be my camera, and this is going to be very high quality pictures that are going to be coming out of it. If you check out my Instagram, I've been posting recently pictures that I've been taking with this camera, and the focus is really nice, and the blur is even better. The bokeh is insane. So this camera is more on not the cheap side. It is 1.1 to 1.2 thousand dollars on US dollars, that is, and it's an investment. It isn't just spending money crazily. It is investing into what I'm actually going to be doing with it and improving the quality of these YouTube videos and getting more into work for others and getting paid to do those gigs. The reason I didn't buy this camera earlier is because I really wanted to first of all get the experience and know how to do these basic things uh, that I can do with my phone and I can do with a decently powered computer and then I was upgrading my computer to make it even better and then now that I'm at the point that my computer is perfectly fine for me to be editing high quality 4K or really high quality 1080p videos and editing all those kind of videos and uh, special effects I've started to be investing more into the gear that I use that isn't for the production afterwards. It's the, like right now, capturing the moment, capturing the video, capturing the photo, um, those that kind of equipment. Because that is going to be um, my next step that I'm going to be do conquering. And not post-production, but actually producing that content. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this B-roll segment and me talking about the reasons I, I'm investing into a over $1,000 camera and check out the next reason uh, video kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to be explaining why I got the 55mm lens from Zeiss, the f1.8.